Hello everyone, welcome back to a series that you all probably thought was dead. The Figma tutorial series of how to use the Figma tool for Storefront UI and Capybara. Um, so today we're coming back with a an episode on how to use the assets panel of the Capybara design system. Uh, this is really useful if you want to export some useful assets for your developers when they're launching your website. Uh, using view storefront so things like splash screens favicons uh, home screen icons logos error states stuff like that so let's get started from over here uh, let's see uh, I think the best way to show this is to replace this with another example logo so let's go find one real quick um, so this is an approximate demo, like the exact dimensions don't matter, you can pick and choose the, the size you want exactly. But roughly I think rectangular looks best. Um, so let's just crop this up to kind of fit nicely. I think that looks about good. Uh, so we'll just size this up, let's just match the height because that's what's most important. Uh, let's just use 251. And so the way you would go about it is go in here and just drop this in. And turn off this behind. Uh, turn these off. And yeah, just center it. And then just resize the parent to match the child. So that's our new logo. Um, and then for the icon, let's just... Um, and take this and turn this into our icon too. So I think for the icon, we'll just keep the E or the EX or something. So let's crop that out. So usually this is something that you would get from like your design team or whatever. Um, or I guess if you're that person, you'd be doing it. Uh, and you just slap this in here. And once again, you just center it. Boom. If you feel like you need to make it a little bit smaller, do that. And now you have all of your sizes right here, all of your assets that you need for your icon, home screen icon, and your favicon. So what, now all you need to do is go into the layers over here, uh, select all of these. Uh, the iPod and the favicons and you can just export these 10 layers right from here and be good to go. Uh, you also have all of your splash screens set up right here. Uh, you just might need to do a little bit of cleanup yourself. And boom, now you can take all of these, export these, and you have all the splash screens that you need for all of the screen sizes that you need. So that's how you use the assets panel to create assets for your PWA. Uh, similarly, you could put in your fallback image right here for when images don't show up correctly. Yeah, so now we can go and take a look at some of our pages. And, ooh, looks like we need to do some cleanup here. Um, here, let's... So the way to make sure that none of this is messed up is we would go into our Capybar components and this right here. So this A logo is the logo that's used everywhere else. So the way we would handle this is come in here, see what's wrong. Okay, I see. So to fix this, what we need to do is go to our logo and within it, this instead of being center center should be uh, it should respect its dimensions so now when we go back it should fit nicely and now when we go back all of our logo is applied to all of our pages automatically with no effort whatsoever basically so category page boom 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 every page that you can think of now has your updated logo which is super handy so these are some, those are some of the things that help you quickly rebrand your website. All right, and thank you for watching.